Hi guys, don't be scared by the super no makeup, crazy hair Jay Morrell look going on. Today is day one of my Q&A video series. And one of the questions that I've received on YouTube, on Facebook, and on Instagram is different ladies have asked me what kind of lip gloss I wear. I've also been asked for what my beauty routine on a budget is because obviously ah, I need some kind of beauty routine. And also I've asked I've received questions about my hair for example my friend here her channel name is Hall & Co she says of course I have to know what is your hair routine is your hair straight curly and how do you fix it so I'm gonna go through my makeup routine and my hair routine with you right now answer the question about my hair my hair is naturally wavy i guess you would say you've probably seen naomi's hair in videos before and her hair is curlier than mine so this is my hair i took a shower last night if i used hair products in it for curly hair i could scrunch my hair i could blow dry it with a diffuser and i could really work for a naturally wavy or naturally curly look. I did that a lot in my 20s. Now in my 30s, I have been enjoying having a hairstyle. So what I do is I cut my own hair layers. I have several different layers going on here. See, here's my longest layer. And up here you can see I have shorter layers. There are tutorials on YouTube on how to cut long hair layers. So I cut my hair about every 8 to 12 weeks using YouTube tutorials. And that has worked fantastic for me. I have gone and had my hair done and I enjoy it, but like a lot of you mamas know, it's a time thing. Much easier for me to cut my own hair. You know, it takes like five minutes before my shower every couple months than having to go and wait. And you know, that means Travis has to do something with the kids and all that. I just DIY haircut. So now this is not my natural hair color. This is Preference by L'Oreal. It's nine whole dollars. I've been doing my hair this color since I was about 18. My hair is naturally darker and I was a lifeguard at a pool the summer that Travis and I got married and my hair lightened up a lot. It was this color when I was little. I was actually, I was born with black hair. Then my hair on its own went to this color which is closer to Amelia's color. And then um, middle school years it started going dark unfortunately. So when my hair started to lighten up when I was a lifeguard for that one summer I just took it all the way blonde and this is um this is again L'Oreal L L preference by L'Oreal LBO1 so when I go to do my hair now so I have my layers cut and I give it a good brush out and you can see I got I got all kinds of funky things going with my bang layers. Now, whether I've scrunched my hair and worn it curly or whether like now with my layers, I like to, I kind of straighten it and flip it. I do my own thing. I use some sort of hair polisher on my hair. Now this is called Smooth and Shine Polishing. It says Silk and Sleek Straightening Polisher, Silk and Organic Oils, Heat Protect. So it's supposed to protect your hair from heat because I do use a hot iron on it and it smooths out the frizz in my hair. It says strengthening polish with silk amino acids and essential oils formulated for heat styling protection, radiant shine and perfect smooth styles. So I will put a little bit of this in Naomi's hair also. We also have this in a spray bottle and I'll spray Amelia's little curly ponytails with it from time to time. But I've used some version of this over the years. It's at Walmart. It's like $4.97 a bottle or so. So I usually take a little bit in my hand here and I rub it all through my hair. Now I have never had any major trouble with my hair being completely colored. I also color my own hair about every four weeks. I do my own, re my, do my own roots. Now the reason that I'm able to have fully colored, very light blonde hair and my hair does not fall out is that I do not take my hair color all the way through my hair. Whenever I do my roots once a month, I truly only do the new growth. And I did my roots about a week ago. So you can see it's, it's, there's not a lot of new growth there yet showing up. 
So, and with my hair curling, I probably curl my hair with my trusty curling iron here about three to four times a week. I think three would be more of an average. And then on the opposite days, I usually wear my hair up in a bun or a ponytail. And then I'll have a day where I do, I like to do the braids on the side. That's something I'm doing right now. So I've got my shine polished work through my hair and you may be able to tell in the video, there's a lot of shine to it now. So I've rubbed that through, I brushed this out. Now in the mornings when I get ready, I need a good 30 minutes. I can get myself dressed, feeling like a human, and my makeup done and my hair done in 30 minutes. Now I'm not usually talking into the camera while I do it, so we'll see how long this takes me. I brush it all out. Now, with my layers, what I do is I pull the top layers up, and these are most of my short layers. A few long layers are in there, but not too many to worry about. Now, this is going to look so cool. Are you ready? I tell you, classy. All about class here on YouTube. And now, so all my short layers, including my bangs, are up piled on top of my head. Now I have my longer layers, and I let my hair get a few inches longer than it is now. I kind of go back and forth. I never get too much shorter than what it currently is. I like a medium long look for me at this stage of the game. So I've got them all brushed out. And now what I do is I have a large barrel Con Air curling iron. And now all the products that I use in this video, at the very bottom, there's gonna be a link that will take you to a list of everything that I'm using here. So I'm just running it through my hair, straightening it out. And now I'm gonna use it, I'm gonna flip it upwards. Got a few short layers in there. And I hold it for a moment. Okay, and then with this one. I'm gonna curl it up. I got a short piece here kind of dangling, but I'll just curl that one separately. I also, I use Tresemme shampoo and conditioner and hairspray. I like their products because at Walmart I can buy them in the large size. They're inexpensive. I'm just gonna give my ends there a little spray. And I kind of play around with my short pieces. Here's an update on how it's looking so far. I would say on average, I probably spend somewhere around $30 a month for my hair products. The sh biggest bottle of Tresemme shampoo and conditioner come to be about $10. My hair color is nine. I don't need the shine and a new bottle of hairspray every single month. It's usually one or the other. So it's probably closer to 25, but I'll just say 30 is close to what I spend on my hair every month. So I got ahead of myself. So I take my clip down for my shorter top pieces and now I just start dividing my hair. And this is a lot of how I cut my hair too, is I bring it forward like this and clip it. But I will link you to some of my favorite long hair layer YouTube tutorials. So I just grab the back layer. I let all this mess hang in my face. And then I take my handy dandy iron again and I do work it through my hair a few times. Make sure I'm still turned on. Having your curling iron turned on is really important. Okay. Yeah, it's still on there. And then I roll it. Now I got a lot of hair in this piece, so I'm going to Hold it in there for a minute. Okay, that one turned out nice. I give that a little spray. And now you see I'm left with what looks like a hopeless mess in front of my head here. 
So now I brush the hopeless mess out. Yay for having hope. And then some of these little side pieces I have I might brush down. I try to get my bangs or what's the framework for my bangs down. And then I will curl this little bit I have standing up here. So you all be sure to tell me in the comments below what some of your beauty routine tricks are. Now I got some of these fall in here. Whoop. And then things like that happen. Look at that. Look at that. Just falling all over the place. Okay. And I'm rolling all of these forward so when I flip my hair back it actually gives me curls or body that flips up. You can see how that's starting to work out there. So I still got these weird straggly pieces and oh my, look at those bangs. Scary stuff. Scary, scary. Okay. And now with my messy bangs, how I tame this beast. And this might happen to you also if you have bangs. See, I've got a couple pieces in here that straggled on that should have been in the last flip. I will just kind of dig those out, flip them, push them back. Uh -oh. But now, ridiculous, huh? Okay. And then I flip my bangs and scratch my head. I've had my hair up in a clip for today and that always makes my scalp a little itchy. Okay, I'll just let those sit there for a minute. Now, with these little side pieces I have going on here. Now, I cut layers around my face and I wear side pieces because you all can see I, I, I have a big face. I have big cheeks. I have a double chin thing going on, which, Lord willing, as I continue my slow and steady Trim Healthy Mama journey, hopefully I will lose. I'm a big one for trying to be happy with where I am and making the very best with what I have to work with. So right now, my weight is, of course, not where I want it to be, but I'm not going to let myself focus on that and be depressed about that. I mean, I've had two beautiful children in the last three years, little Amelia and of course baby Daniel. And, and they are totally worth it. So I've got those little pieces. Okay, so now here's my hair. And if I wasn't talking, this probably would have taken me about seven minutes or so to do. So now what I do is I run my fingers through it I'm going to just separate it, fluff it out. Got some different. And that's where I've really come to love having long layers the last few years. Oh, that's Travis leaving to go to the store. Okay. So, and then I've got some layers around my face. And not too happy with this little bump thing going on here. I think that's just the way I slept on it. And now, to do something with my bangs. Now I have a little way too many, I have way too many bangs cut. So I usually thin them out some. And then I just kind of brush the unused pieces back. Now, my bangs, in my opinion, are doing something a little funny right now. So, I'm going to go back through here and give them a little more heat love. And then, whoop, still doing something a little funny. Of course, because I'm videoing, they're going to be funny. 
Murphy's Law for trying to show moms how I do my hair, huh? Let me try a third time. So this is just reality hairstyles with Jim Morrell. And I'm going to hold the iron on them a little longer. So you can see my hair kind of flips up and I've got my different layers that I like. Hopefully it's okay. It's just, you know, you get to a certain point sometimes and it's hard to tell if the hairstyle's okay or not. Oh, this is just, this, okay, so this is Jay Morrell fighting with her bangs 101. So my bangs are not exactly how I like them. I guess I just need to, it's getting to the point where I just need to spray it and stop touching it. There's some good advice there. Just spray your hair and stop touching it. So I give it some Tresemme all over here. I don't feel like these flipped very well. Oh gracious. So there you go guys. This is my J. Morel, hey my hair is done hair routine. And now I'm gonna put some makeup on you so you're not scared anymore.